Okay, I got the 63 Suburban 12. I do believe, let's see if y'all can see that pinpointing. See, it does say 63 right there. I don't know if that's the 63 or not, but I'm going to run those numbers to find out. Uh, I've taken the fender off, fenders off. I've taken the hood off. I've taken all the brackets off that held the belt and... Sorry, I... <laughs> I took off all of the holders for the deck. Uh, I'm kind of taking this thing apart. Uh, I'm going to put it together and then later it's going to have to be taken apart, sandblasted, and uh, painted. But right now what I'm working on is the clutch. The clutch, right? Okay, we got the 63 Suburban uh, 12 on it. I do believe it's 63 because of the numbers down here. It says 63. Well, I have to run the numbers to find out. I took off all the holders for the deck and the extra steel I don't need on it. And I got this motor on it. Uh, it's free, but the piston don't move. You know, so I, there ain't no way I can use this. I got this Honda right here I'm going to put on it. I got the pulley. I went and got bought me a pulley. But this plate comes up. And it's just right here on the outside of this. I gotta make a. Uh, there's this plate. See this right here? Goes and it curves up, and it's part of the pulley setup. Well, after I get the motor situated where it's supposed to be, I gotta take and I gotta build a plate that comes up to here, and then uh, this piece of steel here off another extractor because it's heavy steel. I'm gonna cut this off, and I'm gonna use that. For a bracket for the bottom so that way it'd be braced on the front and bottom and then the pulley can move now i see the whole motor's moving right now because i ain't gonna bolt it down but i'm getting ready to do that uh i still got basically everything put this thing ready to ready to go uh i got the dash Oh yeah, and I put this steering wheel on it. It's a little big one. I got two others. So I've got this Craftsman and I got another. But for right now, until I decide how I'm gonna do it, I kind of like this one I got on it right now. That thing's that thing's pretty cool. I couldn't use that splicer, so I had to use a piece off of a weight bench, you know. But I drilled through it and put that on there. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, as soon as I find it, I'll put my foot pedal on there. After I get the motor running and get it all set, I'm going to get that set and get this thing running before I do any of that. So, I'm off to work. I ho, I ho, it's off to work, I go. Alright, well the motor is sitting almost exactly where it's going to. Uh, I built that plate. It's almost 9 o'clock, it's dark outside, and I've been out here for about 4 hours just tinking. But, uh... I got this plate. I, I re-bent that plate so I can make it where it would work. And I, I was going to have this here. This whole piece turns around. This goes on that side. You know, it turns around and there's flat piece. Well, the exhaust comes out, turns around, and goes back this way. And because of that, I had to flip this around where it's open up right here. Well, I was going to have two pieces coming up and over. Uh, right now. I got this one on it right here. And if you watch, it's not too dark. It's working perfect. It's not moving. Uh, I'm going to weld this tomorrow. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to weld this all the way around it. Front and back. First, I got to make sure my marks. Looks like that side's in a little bit. So I'll redo that. Uh, Got the dash on it. Dash is going to look good. I have a place there perfect for my gas tank. Gas tank come out. Hose run over. And run right into that. Or I might just put the old one back on the front for right now. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. But it's a little cocked. A cockeyed. Let's see. Right like that. And I'm going to have to put this pulley in here. Uh, the only thing i got to watch out for 
is underneath this pulley right here. See that bar coming across right there at the end of my finger? That I don't hit the bottom of it. So I'll probably pull this pulley in down here so it sits in there and holds that up. I got some smaller pulleys. I got a bunch of pulleys. So, uh, no, they're not pulley, but I got a whole bunch of these. I can't even think. I'm so tired. Y'all know what they are, but I got a whole bunch of them. All different sizes. See, there's one right there. That's all hooked up. You know, it's a white belt. This is a V belt. I'll probably put a white belt in there. It's a little smaller, so even with that bracket, I could just make that sit in there. And then I'll put a couple belt holders on each thing. And I'll have to make me a belt holder that comes over to here. And one that comes off over here. It sticks up like that so that belt don't fly off. Hopefully, this thing will do good. I'm betting it will. It I can't cover up them holes, but that's about where she's going to go. I got a bunch, like I said, a bunch of hoses. I mean belts. Hoses. Yeah. yeah. Belts. So, I've had to find belts. That one right there was the original. And I'll get that going. Never shown y'all my my crank here. It goes up. There's a pulley back there. Pulley up here. And then two legs. I got to extend the legs out a little further on the bottom. But I got a crank over here and a chain. Just set that out there like that. Take these belts off. Don't want to mix that up because that is the original. And then I got a cable that come off of a weight bench hooked up. And I picked up quite a few lawnmowers and quite a few projects. I made it out of some uh, C-channel construction angle iron. Well, the one there. Uh, my next one is going to be a little bit longer. Pull it up here. Pull it over here. Coming out. And then I just, I make two braces there. Two braces going that way. And two feet. Well, it's going to be longer. I had to put some bed frames here. Excuse the chain. They're just hanging there out of the way. And here I had to put bed frame. Because this feet channel, which is bending like that whenever I was picking it up and it started getting a curve right here but there you can really see the hang on the metal there but I, I do that and that's how I pick up my, my lawnmowers it works I'm glad to have it because picking up lawnmowers and these rides ain't easy but I'm out of here and y'all have a good one Suburban and uh, got the motor almost ready to stab. Uh, I got to drill four holes and it, I got to line up bolts, but I'm getting it pretty close. To, uh, well, she's a little noisy, but she works. Get that where, where it's got good tension on it, and uh, I'm good to go. And I can reach over here, pull that, and we're going right. See? Right in the bar. Nah, nah. No, I ain't got no gear shifted. So I'm going to put up. I got to find it. I got it lost here somewhere. And I'm going to put me a foot pedal over here. Uh, the bicycle cable that I had is going to be too short, so I got to make a longer one. And. I'm going to put this thing back together. I'm going to ride around a little bit the way it is. Then whenever I get the money to go buy them, I'm going to go buy me one of the nine horses or a new uh, the 
Harbor Freight 6 is to go on here. And uh, <coughs> at, at that time, I'll go ahead and take this thing back apart, sandblast it, or sand it down, and I'll paint it. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to get new tires for it. Back ones are decent. That front one right there has got so many cracks in it. But I'm going to get this thing going, you know, because I want to ride it around. Uh, I might just put a regular throttle on it for right now to speed it up, you know. I mean, use that until I get my foot pedal and uh, cable. It's one I was wanting to put the four-wheeler front end and four-wheeler rear end on. And uh, put a Kawasaki or a, I got a Japanese or Chinese 200 Enduro motorcycle motor uh, that I was going to put on that Enduro three-wheeler. Well... The guy that I bought the Enduro three-wheeler rear end off of, the rear end off the four-wheeler, he decided he wanted it back, and I didn't pay him yet, so I'm obligated to give it back. So that got scrapped. And I've got other plans. The front end off the motorcycle has already been cut down. I showed in a video... Uh, a new project that a friend of mine gave me uh, is the rear end off of a snapper mower. Well, uh, you take a snapper mower and you take a motorcycle front end, and there you go. You know, this right here is my project I'm working on right now, and I'm pretty well got it going. I got to move a couple of the pulleys around and get them all lined up, and then drill the holes. Uh, I'd like to say thank you. For watching my video, I hope this uh is something that you enjoy watching because uh, I enjoy building. I come out here and I I build this and I do these things because it's something I like to do, you know. And I film it because it's something I figured y'all wanted. I do these things because it's cool, you know. It's something that uh, gives me time to get away, be by myself, and think and. Uh, I like sharing things that I build with other people, you know. Uh, I got a few shout outs to give to people. Uh, Team Man, you've been a real good friend and uh, hope everything works out. Steiny, enjoyed the stickers. Uh, that video is going to be coming up. I got some wonderful stickers from Steiny72. 6 uh, L Rise. Jumpstar Bill, Fearless Front, uh, Mud King, and there's many, many more. You know, Big Boy Toys, he, he does a hell of a video. You know, uh, there's so many people I like to thank. You know, uh, I was watching a video on Murray Mayhem. You know, and he pulled a, put a pull start on the front end of, a, I think it was a 17 horse, unless I'm mistaken. And that was a pretty good idea. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to have to do that on a couple of mine. You know, a uh, couple other shout-outs. Uh, God, I forgot your name. <laughs> See how it is? I was going to put me a board up here, you know, so I could write down a few things or a piece of paper and remember the shout-outs, you know. But sometimes I forget, you know. I forget about old men like old Tough Dog, you know. Tough Dog's been a pretty good guy. You know, that kickstart that you got. Wow. Lexus just went out. Sound like something popped out there. That was funny. Uh, we've had some bad storms, and Lexus went out. But Tuck Dog, you had a a pull start kick, you know. Now I really couldn't put it on this uh, unless I put it up front, and I don't want to do that where I have to get off. So. That might be an idea for another build. You know, I I got a few other projects coming up. I got one that I'm really looking forward to. It's going to be a a racing motor. It's going to be a low boy. And my whole idea is to make it wider and longer. Yeah, I built a limo lawnmower. Okay, seven foot nine. Do I want something longer than that? I think so. Maybe, maybe three inches longer. <laughs> Make it eight foot, you know. 
But I definitely want it wider. Because uh, whenever I go up in, wow, there's another pop. But whenever I go up in uh, the mountains and go riding around, I need something wider that won't flip over on me. But I'm going to get to work on this and I'd like to say thank you. I'll be putting out the videos whenever I get this thing going. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, to all my subscribers, all the new ones and all the old ones, you know, I thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed these videos. And hope you continue watching. Thanks. Y'all have a good day.